What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is your Earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful Tuesday evening, March 8th, 2022 is the date, uh, about 6.45 p.m. California time out here along the West Coast. Latest quake shows a uh, 3.1 earthquake into the area of the Indonesia region into the Java Trench. Uh, just seen someone asking about the uh, specifications as to what's going on here on the globe. Well, this just a real quick rundown here. Uh, the red rings on the globe, such as this activity down here in the uh, Kermadec Trench area, red rings indicating some older earthquake movement. So this here is from uh, late last night or early this morning. This should be dropping off the globe here pretty soon. This is the last 24 hours of earthquake activity on the globe. Of course, the red rings indicating the older earthquake activity, while the white rings indicating the most recent earthquake activity. And, of course, the green flag here indicating the uh well the most recent earthquake here on the globe the rings raised off the globe indicate some deep earthquake movement if they are shallow and up against the uh, globe such as this 5.0 and the 5.4 down here those are indicative of shallow earthquakes uh towards the surface so just a quick rundown i've seen someone asking about that in the uh, live stream Let's go ahead and check out the latest data here on the map here from the USGS showing a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity here across the globe, including uh, three earthquakes within the last hour. We got an uh, earthquake down here in the Panama area, 4.6. Also down here in the West Chile Rise, a 5.0. And within the last hour as well, a 5.1 in the area of the Indonesia region. So a little bit of movement here within the last hour, kind of ramping up here on the latest map let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the states we'll go drop down to the uh, all magnitude map here and uh, see some activity ramping up here in northern california of course we have been seeing uh, quite a bit of uptick in trimmer along the area of the southern uh, cascadia subduction zone here uh, so let's look at this a little bit more detailed here got uh, two earthquakes here in the 2.0 range uh, down there into the subduction zone. Of course, uh, with all this tremor activity, this is not surprising because the tremor activity, uh, which is down dip downstream here of the Cascadia subduction zone, uh, does ultimately apply further strain and stress onto the areas upstream and the locked area of the Cascadia. That's how you get that pressure built up over time. And it's been building up here for 322 years since the last major rupture along the Cascadia back in 19, or, uh, 1700. Uh, with the nine pointer uh, that uh, unzipped the uh, full feature of the Cascadia. But tonight, uh, hopefully, that doesn't happen. But uh, definitely seen some activity up here around Eureka into the area of the southern end of the Cascadia down dip, though, but upstream of the uh, trimmer activity. Movement kind of ramping up throughout the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevada and throughout Nevada as well. Uh, seen uh, quite a bit of movement along the eastern crest here, as you can see, up and down the board here to south of Mount Lassen. Got one earthquake here around the mineral area, 1.5 at 10.7 kilometers, and some other activity stretching down towards the Antelope Valley region, where we've seen uh, a couple twos kick off here today around the Walker, California area, around the Antelope Valley area, Long Valley Super Volcano. Not a whole lot going on down here. Uh, Mono Lake as well. A couple small microquakes around the region of the uh, volcanic tablelands down here south of Long Valley. Of course, this whole area up here has uh, got a lot of historical volcanic activity associated with it throughout time. Uh, Ridgecrest region, some activity also within the last hour. One earthquake here showing up there in the red circle, 1.0 at uh, 9.8 kilometers. <clears throat> and uh, Southern California, what do we got down here in the, s the uh, south part of the state? One earthquake. On the uh, Palomar Observatory, we haven't seen a lot of activity here recently. Of course, if you recall, we did see quite a bit of swarming here a month or so back around the Palomar Mountain area. And uh, that kind of just dropped off suspiciously, but uh, we got one little earthquake here within the last hour. Uh, the rest of the plate here, the, the Pacific side of the plate here in Southern California, very quiet. Uh, there is a little bit of swarming down here around El Centro. Uh, but aside from that, uh, areas to the north here are very calm uh, when it comes to earthquake activity. Looking at this little specific swarm here, we've got about eight earthquakes around the El Centro area, Imperial, 
uh, region. Uh, and uh, they're bouncing all over the place in the terms of the depth of these earthquakes, ranging from about 2 kilometers all the way down to 11 or 12 kilometers here in the region of El Centro. So some deeper activity striking up here just off the uh, southern end of the San Jacinto Fault Zone and just to the west of the Imperial Fault Zone. Uh, looking at the uh, rest of the country here, Texas pretty quiet. One little lonesome earthquake out there in the Lone Star State. Uh, 2.3 and a uh, little activity throughout uh, northern Oklahoma with Kansas near Gibson, Kansas. Uh, getting in on a three-pointer today at uh, five kilometers. And I'm sure some folks did report filling it. Looks like they did there. A couple folks reporting it near Selena. Uh, some light shaking going on out there from a, from a few folks reporting that earthquake. Uh, New Madrid zone, uh, one little earthquake out here around the Still, Missouri area. Uh, that's about the only one here within the last 24 hours, a 1.9. And the eastern part of the country, pretty quiet for now, along the eastern seaboard. Uh, Puerto Rico region and the Haiti area, some of this activity from earlier this morning. Haven't seen any renewed movement throughout the Puerto Rico area. Uh, so those conditions are kind of just uh, calm temporarily, right? Uh, there's that 4.6 off the coast of Panama at uh, relatively shallow shadow shadow shallow depths there at 10 kilometers and uh, some movement off the coast of chile down here in the chile rise the west chile rise out here way out there 5.0 off the coast of south america some older earthquake activity up here into the peru chile trench and this movement here 5.1 was from this morning in the uh, south sandwich islands uh, what do we got in New Zealand? Some of this activity from this morning. We haven't seen any subsequent larger activity. Last one was the, uh, uh, well, we had a 4.0 in the Bulls, New Zealand area. That one was pretty deep, 104 kilometers into the uh, Hikurangi subduction zone, it looks like. Of course, Hikurangi subduction zone extends down here, just south of Wellington, up here to about the north part of the uh, North Island here. And, uh, of course, inland, down dip of the subduction zone, you get this... Uh, Deeper movement, 104 kilometers for that 4.0. Uh, looks like we did have something pop up here a little bit later, uh, earlier this afternoon, I should say, 5.0 into, into the uh, Kermadec Islands area. Pretty shallow movement there at uh, 10 kilometers for that uh, earthquake. Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, all quiet still. Ever since this morning's update here, it's uh, been relatively quiet. There's that 5.1 uh, just a little bit ago in the uh, Indonesia region there along the southern end of the plate boundary, the Philippine Trench, way down here. Got uh, 53 kilometers for the depth of that earthquake. Also up here, getting that swarming activity kick up here again around Japan, northeast of Taiwan. Uh, this is all shallow earthquake activity, but uh, there's quite a, f quite a few fours kicking up here near Okina uh, Okinawa. Just offshore here, about uh, 50 miles or so. Um, kind of towards the East China Sea, but this is pretty shallow earthquake movement. So that could be uh, leading towards something much bigger in the region of the of the uh, East China Sea and also the uh, the trench here. So got to be, be uh, cautious on that area. Uh, up here in the Pacific, or in the uh, Northwest area, the uh, Ring of Fire, Pacific Ring of Fire, pretty quiet. One little lonesome earthquake up here off the coast of Russia at 64.6 kilometers here for that 4.5. And uh, Lucian Trench all kind of calming down today. Nothing uh, significant going on throughout the region of Alaska. Of course, this is very typical movement up here. Microquakes uh, throughout these subduction zones there. Uh, so yeah, not a, not a whole lot of significant changes since uh, this morning's update. Uh, just a little bit of movement. We've got to watch here near Taiwan and the Japan region with that swarming. Uh, same goes for Hawaii. We did see a little bit of swarming activity here around the Mauna Loa area that has not continued though throughout the afternoon or evening. It all kind of came to a complete halt this morning there with the uh, little swarming activity there at Mauna Loa. Southeast region still pretty active but uh, then again this is always active. Outside of uh, Hilo, a 2.1 near the uh, Hawaiian Paradise Park. It sounds beautiful up there. Uh, 41.7 kilometers for this little 2.1. Uh, what else we got here? Not a whole lot, that's for sure. 
uh, throughout the Mediterranean Sea, eastern part of the of the uh, the world, Middle East, pretty quiet. South America, Africa, looking uh, or at least South Africa, Africa area, looking pretty quiet up here in the uh, region of Iceland, north here, Jan Mayen area. Uh, seen this movement this morning, but no subsequent earthquake activity in that region. So, uh, looking back here, Northern California. Uh, of course, this activity near Eureka got to do with the subsequent tremor activity, and that's kind of been kicking up here over the past uh, six days or so. Of course, today we only got 14 epicenters of tremor, uh, so kind of coming to a halt in the amount of tremor activity, but uh, past, uh, what was it, yesterday we had uh, 128 right there in Northern California. Prior to that, a little bit larger number there, 276, Northern California. So ultimately, got to remember the subduction zone here extends underneath the North American plate. Ultimately, right, when you get the subduction, what's going on up here, upstream, up towards the locked area? Uh, we're getting in on uh, uh, some, some earthquake activity further upstream here. So that's adding to the pressure, adding up to the big one one day, the nine-pointer or greater along the Cascadia. That's uh, that's how we get this interaction, right? They got the subduction creating the uh, the upstream pressure buildup in the locked area. Winding up like a spring, folks. That's for sure. Yellowstone National Park. What's going on up there in Wyoming? Well, not a whole lot. Uh, no major swarming, no magma movement, no major cat catastrophe going on here. Uh, no fear mongering at all. This, the charts look pretty clear uh, for now when it comes to seismic activity here at Yellowstone National Park. Looks like one little lonesome little earthquake here around the Mass and uh, area, Maple Creek area. See that low earthquake activity there. But other than that, uh, man, hate to be the bearer of bad news when it comes to looking for fear mongering and, and ultimately end of the world stuff. But there's not a whole lot going on there at Yellowstone National Park right now. Uh, earthquakes Canada. What do we got up there in the beautiful country of Canada? We got some earthquake activity at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Very northern end. Kind of want to pull up the plate boundaries here. And it uh, looks like it's just right here. The northern end of the Cascadia kind of ends right here. So we're seeing some activity ramp up here uh, over the last day at 3.1 at 30 kilometers. And some uh, subsequent activity just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone. So, uh, you know, the, all this activity that we're looking at up here, even in the Canada map, plays a big part on the uh, on to uh, what's going on here at the uh, Cascadia. Pretty lengthy subduction zone and very capable of producing a damaging, uh, life-changing event there for the folks in the Pacific Northwest of the states. Up here in the Alaska region, had a 2.1. And way over here around the Yukon region. Uh, looks like they had some smaller earthquakes as well, 2.9. The rest of Canada, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on across the board. The latest quake here on the globe does show a uh, 1.5 in the Port Alice, BC area at uh, 24.6 uh, kilometers. So definitely a subduction zone quake there at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. What else we got here, Sun? Let's go ahead and check out the Sun. Sun solar weather activity here. And you know, things kind of uh, mellowing out for now. Green across the board in the three day geomagnetic forecast. Calm conditions prevail. Sunspot activity, even though it's looking pretty large here with the sunspot activity, only 80% chance of a sea flare from uh, the sunspots that are Earth facing here. 2965, maybe that will be a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more complex when it comes to possibly producing uh, some solar flaring activity. But uh, overall, no major coronal holes, nothing of, of uh, interest really to report here on the sun at the moment. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. I uh, hope everyone has a beautiful, glorious evening out there. And uh, just try to stay safe. And uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later on. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out.